What's up, sous chefs? Welcome back to the channel. Guess what? It's sous chef Sundays. That's right. It's sous chef Sundays. Yeah, yeah. It's sous chef Sundays. Uh huh. It's sous chef Sundays. Welcome back to Sous Chef Sundays. Thank you for coming back to episode two. And guess what? This one is for you, 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 and you. Welcome back. Bonjour, Sous Chefs. Today, we are going to make something fantastic, a magnifique, a delicio. So today, if you haven't figured it out by now, we are going to France, baby. Okay, so today we are going to make Le Coron Bleu. I don't have any special, um, you know, guest appearances or anything like that because frankly, I don't know any French people. Mario just happened to be around. What can I say? But today it is moi. I took a couple of years of French um, when I was in junior high and high school. So in this video, you'll see something a little bit different. You'll see little captions with cool little, um, with cool little facts just about France and about the dish that we're making and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's not French, that's Latin. But French came out of Latin, so we gonna go with it, okay? So yes, today y'all, we are making Cordon Bleu and I am so excited. Um, frankly, I've never made Cordon Bleu before, but I eat it, okay? And I know what it should taste like. So I'm going to rely on my very reformed palate as I put this dish together for y'all, I'm gonna make it look so simple because we like to keep it simple, yeah. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, yeah. Keep it simple, stupid kiss. I don't know where that came from. I got way too much energy. I drank way too much coffee today and um, it's getting late. So let's get started. We about to move over to the kitchen and let's go. Bonjour, sous chef. Frankly, the first part that we're about to do to start with this cordon bleu is the best part because we get to play with this. We're going to pound our meat, y'all. We have three chicken breasts, so we're gonna pound out the three chicken breasts so they're about a quarter inch thick. Um, well, first we're gonna season them. You know, we got that house seasoning, which I'm working on getting on the market for you guys. So let's move on over here. We're gonna start seasoning our meat and then we gonna pound that baby out. Okay. Okay.
Bonjour. We are about to get into something that's going to look super duper familiar to you. Um, maybe three videos ago or so. And what we're going to make is just an onion garlic parmesan cream sauce. It is so good, y'all. So we're gonna whip that up while our chicken rolls are chilling. It is really ideal if you can let them chill in the saran wrap for about 30 minutes. If you don't quite have 30 minutes to let them chill, at least 10 to 15 minutes is really, really recommended. That way the muscles in the meat start to loosen up and they really take on the shape that we are going for, which is a delicious, crunchy, crispy roll, baby. Why would you want it to be anything else? Let that baby rest. Let her rest. Like I said, while that's chilling in the refrigerator, we're gonna make some Parmesan cream sauce. So I'm gonna take y'all right behind me. Make this cream sauce. Kick off your shoes as a sous chef beat. Boogie on down, cause it's time to eat. We cooked it, we cooked it, we did that. Alright, you guys, sous chef Sundays. We are featuring France today, 
And we have completed our cordon bleu. We have a side of delicious broccolini here. And I am so excited to dig into this and see what it looks like and see what we did. I literally cannot wait. All right. so nervous for some reason. Oh, it looks great. Can I show it to you guys? You see that? to pause to take some pictures because it just looked too good too good so um what we have here we created our cordon bleu um obviously we had to use a french cheese as well a lot of times you might see people use swiss cheese but i felt like it would be best to keep it authentic so i went with the monster um and we layered a little bit of fringes yellow mustard on the chicken breast, ham, cheese, ham, and rolled it up. Let it chill for 30 minutes to really take on that shape. Um, we did a flour egg wash followed by a mixture of breadcrumbs and panko. And then we put that bag in the fryer, baby. After all of that, here we are. Actually, let me show this to you guys. And yes, I am using like this gigantic knife because I want to. I want you guys to see it for real. Here we go. Look at that. The cheese. Ooh, still hot. And this is our Parmesan cream sauce here. I have to dip it. when I tell you how good it is like mm. oh, wow. I wasn't sure if I could do it I'm not gonna lie to you because French cuisine is definitely not my specialty um, I definitely grew up more around like Italian and soul food and Mexican cuisine. So those are things I'm super duper comfortable with. But if everything that I'm not comfortable with comes out tasting like this, baby. I guess I'll have to get uncomfortable. It's got a nice crunch on it. I'm very ecstatic that I decided to add the panko at the last minute because that was literally everything. Mm. I really got these broccolini. Some places called broccoli rob. Because typically with this, I would have gone for asparagus. That's kind of like my go-to green veggie when it comes to things that have like a little higher salt content. But the next video I'm making, I'm using asparagus. So I was like, oh, let's try something different. You know what I'm saying? That's good. That's really good. I'm about to go in a little bit more on my, on the cordon bleu that we made together, sous chefs. It is so good. And it was actually really, really easy. Like, I know it sounds fancy, and when you talk about 
pounded rolled chicken like it sounds so intense like okay pound the chicken and layer it with ham and cheese and roll it and bread it and egg it and fry it if i was doing this without filming from the time i started and just the cordon bleu you know if you're doing sides and anything like this if i include the broccoli rabe it literally took like an extra five minutes but honestly like 35 minutes if i wasn't filming i could have had this finished in 35 minutes and this is a good meal. So, for all you sous chefs out there, and even for those who are not quite yet the sous chef, I wanna say we took it to France on this sous chef Sunday, and we learned how to make cordon bleu, and we made a delicious Parmesan cream sauce. Cream fresh. Can I call it that? Is it a cream fresh? I think so. I'm gonna go with it. And it is so good. So you guys, if you ever have a craving for delicious deep fried chicken stuffed with ham and cheese, please click on this video as a reminder that you can make it yourself. Love you guys. See you later.